curious part for me to see how they justify him being there and what does he have to say to her uh, to help her become like what what knowledge does he possess or, or what would he know how to what to say to her well, to become Black Panther right well now, now that we're talking about it something that that does come to mind if we assume that Namor and the Atlanteans maybe have the upper hand at some point in this movie. What if she goes to him as an act of desperation? Meaning she needs to become Black Panther, but we know this, now this would be Killmonger's back. Like he's a war, he's a soldier. And so what she needs is not a peacekeeping guy. She needs somebody, I need to stop Namor at all costs. How do I do that? Maybe yeah. that's a way to make that yes. conversation make sense. And she takes yeah. up the mantle. Very interesting. And that, and I would assume that that is, uh, when she becomes Black Panther, is for that moment, you know, to join the fight. Yeah, I think, or, I think if you're being smart, and I think this would be logical, she would be reluctant to do it. She would have to be in the movie. I'm saying, forget the actor. I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. in the movie, the, the character movie, yes. would be very hesitant to do that and would have to be pushed by something in the storyline to make her turn to that. This, would, this, this, would have to this would have to happen towards the third act, I think. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. What do you, so what do you think about that? What do you think about no Black Panther mantle suit appearing until the third act of this movie. Is that okay? I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I am too. I'm fine with that. Um, last thing. I'm trying to be very careful how I say this. If T'Challa is, is killed off screen, and we've heard the word legacy, when discussing when when Kugler discusses uh, uh, Chadwick and Black Panther and I guess anybody who, who knew him uh, Nate Moore uh, for this this role and uh, I'm pretty sure they thought years in advance of what we what they were going to do with this character right so the way you leave a le legacy is, you, you know, you leave an heir pretty much, right? Sometimes. Brian, is it possible? Is it possible? I don't want is it, to, is it possible to do this, to leave a legacy for the Black Panther? I don't want to give too much away. We'll see, because I think next week uh, um, is San Diego yeah. Comic-Con, we're going to see a trailer. Yeah. Correct. So we'll definitely get into some of the things that are happening there. I don't think this, this, I don't think this thing that I'm talking about is going to be revealed in that trailer. I think oh, it'll obviously be, be a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T'Challa yeah. Jr. I would be shocked <laughs> if that's in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, um, but but, that, but that's it. That's an angle. That's an angle. That is and a that is a idea. way to also honor the name and honor the actor, um, who I assume will have a presence in this movie. Not not physically, but yeah. there's something in this movie that's going to be a tribute. They said the whole movie is a tribute to him. I yeah. don't see how you could have a two two and a half hour film that's a tribute to him without something tangible, a yeah. scene, couple scenes that actually directly allude to him. Well, I think when. In the movie, they do this memorial for T'Challa. I think that is going to be a very a very emotional scene. Um, and that's what I you know, if a movie can make you feel emotion, is that movie did a hell of a job to make you feel something. And I think this movie is going to make uh, people feel something. What that is, I don't know, but um, yeah, I know why. Agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, and that's what I mean. This is built in for this. So, 
we talked about stars passing away and building movies. Like one of the important contrasts between what I said, I said Dark Knight, Furious 7. The difference is Dark Knight, they didn't have a chance to do that because Heath Ledger basically, the timing of his passing, right? He had already filmed all the Dark Knight. It was finished um, and then he was gone. Whereas like in Furious 7, Paul Walker died during the film. Yeah. And that led to that final scene, which whatever you think of it, it is emotional, I think, when you watch it. Like it's, yeah, is it a little deep? Yeah, sure, but like it is emotional. Like you feel something when they're doing that last drop. And so that's what I, you know, something in that spirit where they've had a lot of time to think about it, rewrite, where to fit it in. Yeah, there's people that are gonna come to this movie to be enveloped in that moment as much as anything else as a way to say goodbye to, the, to this version of the character and, and the actor. Brian, I can't wait to see this movie. Because the stuff that we we discussed and, 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 and some of the things that we discussed here uh, makes for a very compelling film, drama-filled film, exciting film, because, you know, you have Namor and that whole situation, how they're going to do that. There's just so many things to look forward to, to in this movie and curiosity for this film that this is going to be the biggest film, I think. Of yeah, and I think one of the things that came out after that Namor costume leak, which got kind of a mixed response and like kind of where to actually kind of weighed in and on a little bit. But like one of the things that seemed to come out of that as confirmation was that, you know, naturally, like, you know, Ryan Krugler and building the world of Wakanda was using kind of you know, African civilizations and cultures as the inspiration for like the different tribes and peoples that we saw. And the casting of Huerta and now seems to have led to they're using kind of like the Aztec and Latin American civilizations as the inspiration for their version of Atlantis. I think it's great. I have no problem with that at all. I was like, that's a that's not something I would have considered. It's obviously not you know, your pure comics accurate version because Namor's, you know, more like it's, he looks a little different than that, but yeah, yeah. I think that's very real world and great. And I think like yeah. I trust Kugler, I trust Kugler entirely when it comes to taking that as like an inspiration and then giving us this original civilization of Atlantis that we haven't seen. And by the way, one that is completely distinct from the Aquaman franchise, which it, does matter like it does you do have to make sure that it's completely distinct from that yeah yeah uh yeah let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh of this conversation of where black panther is going to end up um in the mcu after this film um will it outdo his first outing i think so um and it sets if it's up really good if it's really good billion five yeah 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 yeah, one three was the first one. If it's good, billion five. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over. Okay. Okay. Um just because listen, the, the submariner submariner is a big deal. Yeah. That that is a cameo and a half right there. <laughs> you know? And I think with all the elements of the CGI and water, Brian, this could be high. This could be high. And then with the possibility of doom probably showing up at the end giving us a thanos entrance i think is another aspect of this film that's going to draw people to go want to see this one two even yes. three times brian yeah so that's why i'm saying over yeah absolutely the intrigue the, the memorial but namor doom Throw in storm, even if that's you know, like there's a lot, of, there's a lot of stuff in here that like matters on a grand scale. That if it's well executed, the built-in momentum that they have from the first one, absolutely, like absolutely, this can this can outdo it. Yeah, yeah. Let us know in the comment section below if you uh, agree or disagree with us. And let us know why you disagree with us. Let us know why you agree with us. What points of this? uh discussion do you uh think is most exciting let us know in the comment section below and we'll see you next time on the nerd gen report